Vinny from DNA Bates. Uh, yeah, February mild spell, due 10 degrees tomorrow. So I've loaded the van and I've come down to Fenland Fisheries and I'm on the Vermuden Lake. Um, I don't know a lot about it, I've never been here before. I've had a good walk around, not seen a lot. The only fish I've seen, this is the main body of water to my right hand side. And then it goes down a little spit down the back there. And in that far corner, there's some overhanging trees and some snags. I've seen a group of fish in there, so I think the best thing to do is I'm going to move all my gear around to the back of the lake. Uh, we're fishing peg seven and I can get my rods across to them snags and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. When it's like this, it's just a question of just keeping your eyes peeled. Just constantly watching the water, you know, you're sat in your bivvy. You're not going to see nothing. That's my mess of a swim for the time being. But little day ticket lakes like this, fish get so much pressure. Yeah, there's a bit of a breeze coming up. So I like to just keep busy, you know. Little spots like this, you see, just under there. You get your Polaroids on, just watch it. Sometimes you just might see some of these are the type of areas that the fish kind of getting in these lakes, you know. Open water just gets hammered with leads and bait and markers and spods all year, you know. This is a really popular lake. So it's just a question of finding them. And then giving them some of they want, I guess. But yeah, it's a nice day. Just going to keep busy. to the snags where I've seen them fish this afternoon. Yeah, I just put a milky malt pop-up on a Ronnie rig, just, just tight to the snags and uh, yeah, single bleep, line went tight. Happy days. It's not a big one, but hey, it's the middle of February, so we'll take it. There we go. Nice lean common. I don't know, probably about 15, 16 pounds, something like that. Picked up a single milky malt. I just sprayed a bit of bait around the whole area as well. Not loads, just a little sprinkling. So I put two rods down there now. I just walked my other rod out, got it on the spot. Put two rods on this spot now because uh, they're obviously still underneath that tree. And I seen a fish down there while I was baiting up in the dark as well. So all being well, we'll have another one of these to show you. Yeah, it's a milky malt pop up. Nice one. Well, guys, as you can see, my side of the lake froze over last night. So, we're going to have to. Well, we're going to have to move for a start. The main body of water is okay, but there's a few day ticket anglers turned up this morning, and there's a lot of thrashing about. Right, it's a bit of a mess guys, but I've moved round into the main body of water, purely because of the ice in the other section. I would have preferred to have stayed in there, but with it icing over last night, 
a catfish there until it thaws out. So I'm just going to sit on my rods, maybe see if we can get a liner or two, and then once the ice moves out of that back bay, I'm going to go and climb that tree again, see if there's. It's just in my head that I know there's fish under there, you know, and you know it's a bit spring-like today, but it's still February and. I don't want to sit where there aren't any fish, but until the ice does does one, but the sun's coming up now. It's a nice morning. So I'm not bivvying up, I'm just going to sit, sit on my rods here for a couple of hours and just monitor the back bay. Nothing really, nothing really happened today. There is still some fish up in them snags, but if I'm honest, I didn't see any big fish in there. It was all doubles and there was a couple of smaller ones. And I think if I go in there, like I said before, all my eggs in one basket. And I think I made the right decision because I've just seen two fish roll out in front of me here. So I'm in the main body of water. I've seen one fish literally over my left hand rod and that rod's linered. And then I've seen another fish maybe about 60 yards so a little bit further out than I'm fishing but it's been warm today it's been 10 degrees today and I, even though I've only been here like what 24 hours I can I can tell the difference this that's the first bit of activity I've seen there's you know odd odd bubbles bits of fizzing just just a little bit more activity so and liners as well which is always a positive thing so okay I tied a couple of fresh rigs up for the night just a little curve up with a bit of shrink tube on all steamed nice and flat so what I'm going to use is that's a 12 mil milky malt pop-up and I'm just going to tip it with some maggots this is kind of like my standard winter rig which I've been using this for years really to be fair whether I use fake corn or a little pop-up or whatever I choose to use so yeah just thread some maggots onto a bit of uh, it's just 10 pound zig line is that and your maggots then become your hair stop so yeah, just going to tie them on. And the good thing about this is, although they're not very lively these maggots to be honest, sometimes when you're fishing maggots and if they're really lively when you thread them on, they can uh, catch the hook tip or the point and obviously that renders your rig pretty much useless. So if you put a bait of some structure on before you thread your maggots on, we've got a little bit of buoyancy there. We've got the attraction of the bait itself. And if they're picking the maggots out the bag, which is what I find they do in the winter anyway, if you put a mix out, generally it's the maggots that they're sifting through for. You've got a bit best of both worlds on the hook. So there you go. That's my winter rig and I've been using that for years and it's never let me down. So. Right, I'm almost ready, okay? So I'm just gonna finish this rig off. I'm just gonna show you what I do. So a little piece of rig foam, just to protect the hook point. I don't need to do that if I'm fishing boilies, but when I'm fishing a bag mix with all sorts of bits in it, sometimes when the, when the bag hits the water, you can get a maggot or something, or a piece of corn just go over your hook point. So just to stop that happening, just a little piece of rig foam. And we're going to knock a bag together. So I've got a mixture in here. I've got all sorts, all sorts of stuff going on here. We've got maggots, a little bit of corn. We've got S7 pellet, S7 stick mix, and some crushed up S7 boilies. Okay. So what I do is, round about half a bag. Okay. And I use some of our beta stim liquid because I've got like crumb and pellet and all sorts in there usually I'll do these like a couple of hours before I cast them out and then the liquid has a chance to soak in but well, I've got about half an hour before I'm gonna do the rods so yeah beta stim liquid in there just give it a good squash around just 
stick the bag across. And I've always attached PVA bags like this. I've never changed, I mean, everybody, like people are using mesh now and all sorts, but I've never changed from doing this. I've been doing it for years. So all I do is I put the hook link over the bag and it's just like making a rolly. Not that I've done one of them for a while, just roll it over the hook link. Lick and stick, there's no knots, it's quick. It's not the neatest, but we're only fishing 30 yards. Obviously if I was fishing big distances and I wanted to use bags, I'd do it slightly different to this, but for short range work, that's how I do it. So there's no way that any of the maggots in there can slide as it hits the water and hit the hook point and it's impossible for that to tangle because the weight of the bag always takes it over. So there we go. Well, not the intended species, but I suppose a bite's a bite. It is February and uh, I do like a tenture too, so... But uh, no, not what we was wanting. When the alarm went, I thought it was like, hey, up, maybe. And then as soon as I ate it, obviously it weren't to be. But we're still, still having a go. tension of bream. Not a great night. I'm freezing. Must be still minus two now. It's about eight o'clock. I am blanked. I've had a cart but I think I'm gonna give in. It's bath time. Right that's me done. It's nice to get back in the warm. McDonald's A1 home. Well I'm disappointed really. I suppose we shouldn't be, we caught a fish and it is February so I'm bitterly cold like I say the lake froze over on two nights while I was here so yeah a fish is a fish we got one but uh, it would have nice to have uh, got into a couple more but six tench in one night well what afternoon going into the night six tench in the middle of February I've never I've never had that before I've never really had them feed this time of year so a bit of a strange one and I caught a bream and I caught a pike as well on a zig so I've had a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a mis mixed session, so anyway, look, I've enjoyed myself, we've had a fish, and hey, you can't catch them at home, can you?